Hello, I've been asked to show how to make an earth candle. Why do we make earth candles? It is an old, old custom of bringing light into the earth, just as the first signs of springs are showing. The days are getting longer. If I'm doing this with children, I will tell a story, probably made up. Uh, if I was to do it now, I would tell them of a robin that we've had in our garden for several years and how a week or two ago I saw a second robin. Very unusual with robins, they're very territorial and will only come together at this time of the year. And then we found where they were making a nest, a beautiful little nest made out of moss. I would embroider this story and make it a bit more interesting for children. If I'm working with older children, I will talk about the sun going around the earth. So they have some understanding of what's happening. There are several safety aspects that you must look at before you do anything else, such as my scarf could dangle in, put it away. Long hair, tie it back. Anything dangling on the sleeves, make sure there's nothing there. Very, very important. I'm melting the wax, but it's just bits and pieces that I have had left over from Christmas, and I'm just going to put them in, wicks and all. Odd bits of candle, old oh, ones that are nearly used up and are not needed anymore. And I will wait for that to melt. If I'm doing this on a gas flame, I will always take an old roasting tin and I will put my roasting tin on the gas and I will fill it with water so it comes about halfway up. And I will do that that way because then there is another layer between the native flame and the wax. I'm using electricity so that won't really apply so much. But always be aware of the dangers. The other two things I need, a bit of wick and a stick. And I've just done a single tie there to hold it in place. That comes a bit later. I now need to wait until all the bits and pieces have melted in there. You can see that they haven't quite yet melted. I've now bought my wax, my stick and my wick tied to my stick and I dig in between my plants a quite deep hole, particularly like a day when it's windy. It needs to be fairly deep. And I plant Young children, you should do this. If you're with older children, especially if you've got a handle on the front of it like this one has, it's much easier. And I simply pour my wax in. Not too much. Keep it quite low, particularly, as I say, on a windy day. And then you just leave it. Leave it to finish foaming. It'll take something on around an hour to set. It depends very much on how hot your wax was, how cold the day is and all the rest of it. But when it is set, it should be quite hard and I should be able to touch it quite easily. And I very carefully... Wow. Cut that off. Remove anything. And just pat back the walls to make sure that there's not too much earth in there. Inevitably, some will get in. I 
and then your candle is ready to light.